Hello and welcome to our MaxQDA video tutorial. This time I am going to introduce you to the different possibilities to search for texts throughout your project. In the process you will also learn how to automatically code your search results in order to further process them as part of your data analysis. The most simple way to search for text in your project is provided by the four search fields you see in the four major windows. As soon as any search string is entered here, you can go through the highlighted findings using the two arrows. This is a straightforward way to locate a specific document, code or text segment that you already know of, but for a systematic data acquisition that includes further processing your search results, you might want to use the lexical search instead. To use the lexical search, click on New, enter a search string and click on Run Search. Once you see the results, you can display the respective passage in your document browser by clicking on an entry. A key element to process your search results later on is to automatically code them. To do this, I click on this button over here, enter a name for the new code, and then determine the exact size to which the segments will be coded. Afterwards, I can display the search results by simply activating the code and the respective documents. I can of course also add multiple search items and combine them using an operator. The OR operator will display any segment where at least one of the search items occurs. The AND operator on the other hand will only display passages where all of the search items co-occur in a specified distance, for example within two paragraphs. In the search results window, we see now the newly added column context, which displays that specified distance. Now, what do we do if we don't only want to see the co-occurrences of the words happiness and work, but also want to incorporate the synonyms of work like job, career or occupation? Instead of multiple search queries, we can realize that quite simply with the extended lexical search. It looks a bit different, but works quite similar. All the words entered in the first field will be connected using an AND operator, meaning that they have to co-occur like we just saw for the words happiness and work. All words added to the second field will be connected using an OR operator. And the search fields themselves are connected through an AND operator. So to look for co-occurrences of the word happiness on the one hand and all the words related to work on the other hand, we simply add happiness in the first field and all the other terms in the second one. If however I want to find all the passages about happiness where people are not also speaking about their career, I simply add those words to the third field, which excludes every passage in which they appear. Before automatically coding or exporting the results as a table, I can also exclude the currently selected result by clicking on the stop symbol over here or by double clicking on the symbol in the first column. As I've just mentioned, you can also export your results as a table. To do so, click on the export button over here and determine how much context you want to export. Afterwards, you can choose a file format and click on Save. 